What's going on guys, it's Shay and we're back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Roblox, checking out my school bus simulator. That's right, this is School Bus Simulator Starline, otherwise known as School Bus Simulator 2024. That's the long-awaited review of my official game uh, is here. Um, we are getting close to release, so I figured I would go ahead and kind of showcase the game. Uh, what you guys can expect uh please note that the game is not finished you will notice a lot of things that have yet to be implemented and have yet to be fixed so take that into consideration um some of this will be fixed before release some of it you know won't be fixed until after so we'll see um, i just want to give you guys like the current state of the game and i want to know if it's good enough for you guys to play um so once the video's finished or whenever you decide to stop watching, just let me know down below if this is a game you would play um, because I did work pretty hard on this. Um, speaking of working hard, if you look to the right of the screen here, you'll see the credits. Uh, I worked the hardest. Royale did some work, uh, so shout out to him. He made the icons of the game, so uh, props to you. Uh, so this is the new main menu. Uh, obviously, it's a little different from the one I showcased in the Discord server, but uh, it's still pretty much the same so uh, and then to the left of the screen we have an update log which won't actually be uh, updated until the release of the game so we have a settings tab here you can click that and it'll bring you to these settings here which we'll get into once we hop into the game um, and then we'll go ahead and press play and uh, here we are it jumps us right into the building this is the communications office this is the spawn um you have a staff room here which you can't go into it's not it's actually currently empty <laughs> uh, like i said some things are still being worked on um now let's talk about the ui because that's what's covering most of the screen here uh, we'll start with the um, top right side of the screen you have a revised leaderboard this is not the default roblox leaderboard okay uh, so you can see it displays your level your name and your rank uh, let's start with the level so every five minutes you're in game you'll level up okay that's that's it's very simple i didn't base it off like miles or anything uh, maybe in the future i'll edit it you know to be something like that but every five minutes you level up Okay, it's very simple. Uh, there's a total of 100 levels in the game. Uh, and I believe every 20 levels, you get a new rank. Um, so there are ranks in the game. They're not group ranks. They're in-game ranks. Uh, I think, I, for, I even forgot what I named them. But uh, you got beginner driver, advanced driver, novice driver, uh, master driver. I think that's level 80 to 100, I think. But um, it's fairly easy to level up. Um, so. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be level 100 within like the first three days. So um, no surprise there. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it kind of has like a nice gradient color to it. I thought it was pretty cool. And you can hide it by pressing tab if you don't want it there. Just like the regular leaderboard. So uh, if we look to the bottom right hand side of the screen now, we have a question mark, which is a help tab, which is currently not in use. And then you have your settings here. Uh, same menu from the uh, start screen. Uh, you can turn your shadows off, which helps with uh, lag and stuff. Obviously not the most appealing, but uh, it's there. You also have a mini map, which you can turn on and off like that. Okay. And then you have a current location down there right next to the mini map. You can also turn off. Uh, there's also a time above it. That's also going to be in that. So once I turn it off, it'll also uh, turn that off as well. But uh, We'll get into that here in a second as well. You have a progress bar you can also turn off if you don't want it there. So essentially, it is a lot of UIs. So if you want it off the screen, all you got to do is disable them all. There you go. Um, and then you also have a rain cycle. So the people who like to play in the rain, uh, which is still being worked on, it's not currently finished. Um, in the future, you'll be able to play in the rain by choice. So if you want to turn it on and off. Um, right now, it's disabled though. So... Um, yeah, let's talk about the progress bar. Bottom side of the screen, also known as an XP bar, like I said, levels up every five minutes. Uh, it is a little buggy. That's still a work in progress. You'll notice once it fills up, it won't actually tell you that you leveled up until like, well, it might. Let's see. Okay, it did. It did. And then it should reset. Yep. Just like that. And the um, level on the leaderboard will also update as well so it does work however when you get to the higher levels it will kind of kind of bug a little bit uh however it's like i said still a work in progress um 
now we'll start with a mini map. Uh, you can click on the mini map to expand it and you can use your scroll wheel to kind of look at the map here. Uh, here's the official overview. I know it's, 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 it's probably bigger than you guys thought, right? Um, it's the mini map is also still work in progress. It's very basic. Uh, it's actually, it, it renders your steps. That's how it's kind of, uh, keeping track of where you're going. Uh, and fun fact, uh, when another player joins, you will be able to see where they are on the map. Uh, that's kind of the whole reason why I wanted the mini map. You can see where the high school is, the middle school and the elementary school. Um, obviously elementary is not completed. It's still need to be built actually. Um, but you'll be able to see where other players are on the map. Um, you can also zoom out on the smaller version as well. Um, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it keeps track of where you are and other players. And uh, don't worry, if you disable the map, it will still update other people where you are. So uh, to the right of it, you have a time. It's uh, in sync with the um, the sunlight or the light, I guess you could say. Um, it's 7.47 a.m. Um, basically, the, what this night cycle is going to do is it goes off a.m. p.m. You get 30 minutes of daylight and 30 minutes of uh, darkness. Uh, so... I believe when it reaches, I forget, uh, when it reaches a certain time, it'll become dark out. So uh, when you join the game, it'll automatically be 6 a.m. So it'll start out in the morning every day. Um, now, if you look to the bottom of that, you have a location uh, display along with a compass of which direction you're looking. So you can see, as you can see, oh my goodness, as you can see, we're currently in the parking lot, which is pretty cool. Now, if we step out onto the main road here, as you can see, it turns to Main Street. Uh, basically, how that works is I have labeled every street in here, so it kind of uh, displays what street you're on. If it doesn't detect the street that you're on, you'll notice it'll say unknown. That'll happen even when you're on a current road. It's still a work in progress, so I do apologize. However, it's better to be there. You know, it's it's something cool. And it, like I said, if you don't want it there, you can just turn it off. Uh, so that's kind of what that's for. Um, and as you can see, as we're yapping here, we are almost level five. We're about halfway there. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much all the UI. You'll notice one more thing at the top left. That is the Huxley spawner. So if you'll click that, it is a little hidden, but it is up there. So this is how you spawn a bus. You'll go ahead and spawn a bus. Here is the, it's you know, it's your default Huxley spawner. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Um, so there's going to be 10 buses, uh, not 10 different models, but 10 different slots, okay? Um, I think I've decided there's going to be 10 players per server. Uh, so we don't have it very laggy. The current buses in the game are the 20, 2018 IC. That's pretty much it. Um, I do have other buses, uh, but I'm not implementing them on release just yet. So we'll go ahead and spawn one in. And it teleports you to it just like that. Now, here's the thing. These buses are very stock, okay? They're very stock. Um, that's why I kind of implied that I'm going to have a customization system. It's going to be where you can make whatever customization stuff you want on your bus, okay? If you want a black hood, you'll have a black hood. If you want a chrome grill, look at a chrome grill. Uh, that's all been showcased in my Discord server. Uh, however, it won't be available on release. It's still being worked on. So you'll notice it doesn't have a license plate because this isn't a specific state. This is kind of a, a fictional map, I guess you could say. So you won't have a license plate. Uh, maybe I'll make one kind of based off the game, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but it, it's, it's a default Huxley CE, Hux 5. So, uh, it, you know, it's pretty much, pretty, it's stock. It really much, it really is. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit that there. Now, one thing I did edit was the key script. I took that out. That was kind of annoying. I don't know. I don't like that. Because uh, I do plan on having this mobile friendly. Uh, so if I figure out how to, uh, I don't even know if the bus is actually optimized already for mobile or not, but I plan on having it that way. So, uh, I want there to be as little features as possible when it comes to starting the bus. I want to make it very simple. So you'll press M to start the bus like you would with any other. It also does have a tire pressure system, which I also disabled as well. Like I said, I want to keep it 
very simple maybe if i decide to add like premium buses or something i'll make that a feature on the premiums but as you can see the bus has started we'll go ahead and uh disable the parking brake put on our seat belt and we'll currently give you a tour of the map okay as you can see the mini map is updating you'll notice when you hover over it your camera does something weird uh i had to do some little thing i don't know how to fix that I, I i did try my best to kind of keep it when you're dealing with the cameras and roblox it's a little tricky um yeah so it's a small sacrifice until i know how to fix it you know it, it's actually because of this whole zoom in and out thing with your mouse wheel i had to do some stuff i guess i don't know it's, it's quite difficult honestly so don't mind it you can still operate the bus at the same time so um but as long as you don't hover over the uh, the uh, mini map, you'll be fine. So here we are. As you can see, it still displays the street that you're on. We'll go ahead and make a left here. Like I said, a lot of things have yet to been implemented. You'll see a lot of open areas. Sorry, voice crack. I know it's it's nuts. I know. Um, as you can see, we're on High School Drive here. This is the street the high school is on. Uh, Stonehenge, pretty cool. So here is the high school right here. Uh, you got handicap parking. Apparently, there's no handicap buses. I do plan on having some in the future, though. Uh, and then you got your regular bus parking here. Uh, like I said, it'll display the unknown. See, we we it it displayed wheat view or wheat. I think it said we view, didn't it? We view drive is not actually over here. It's actually over there. So this whole location display thing is still work in progress. Like I said, um, you'll notice a lot of bugs with it, but um, yeah, here's the high school. And then you got your other parking over there, which is pretty cool. So uh, what I think is going to make this game different from the others on Roblox is the mini map is, is pretty cool. Honestly, not many games have a mini map. Uh, the street layout, as you can see, all streets have like a curb to them, or I guess you could call it a sidewalk as well. Uh, I made sure I wanted that done as well, because I did not want the map to just be kind of uh, like a flat road, you know what I mean? I want there to be some sort of, I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, yeah, all streets are labeled, or most of them at least, like I said. Some of them aren't going to be because it's not finished just yet. You got stop signs. You got street signs. Yep. See, it says unknown. And then it says more street. Yeah, so that'll happen. Still being worked on. You got pond view. So, yeah. And we can zoom out there on a mini map to kind of see where we are. I tried to make the street layouts not a grid. You know what I mean? I tried to make them like windy roads and stuff if I could. I tried to do that. Uh, as you can see over there, it's a little bit of a windy road. So what you want to do is make sure your game is not a grid. Okay. I uh, also added some terrain there. It's not really the use of terrain. It's the use of, uh, that's actually a part, but it kind of looks like terrain. So I'll make a left here. You'll notice the streets are very wide. That was honestly a mistake. However, it's also good for new players that don't know how to drive. You can kind of take your turns a little less costly or cautious, I guess. Uh, you got some stores here. Or, okay, I didn't build those, by the way. I bought those. And, you know, like I said, I want to get this game out, so I'm not going to sit here and build everything. Those are kind of just filler. You know, in the future, I'll definitely build my own stores and stuff and get them out there. But uh, uh, for now, we want to get the game out. So you'll notice a lot of uh, stuff that has not been done by me, um, such as these trailer homes here. These are also bought, but uh, it's a nice addition. Got a little trailer park here with a dirt road. You're probably wondering if there's a passenger system. There's not, not yet. That's honestly something I'm going to work on in the future as well. I have it to where if you open the doors, the dome lights turn on. I know that's kind of like a C2 thing, but 
I kind of like it. I do. I kind of like it. Anyway. Yeah, got some hills over here, as you can see. Not bad. A lot of fields. You'll notice a lot of fields and a lot of, like, uh, ponds and stuff. I made sure to put as much water in this map as I could. Like I said, it's not done. There's going to be more. There's definitely going to be more. Let's make a let's make a left. You can see the uh, middle school over there. Not yet done. Well, the school's done, but the parking lot is kind of done. Not really. Still got to add a sign out front, but yeah. Yeah, it displays the unknown street. Yeah, so that, it is a little broken with the whole street display. We're supposed to be on Pine Street. However, it's not displaying over on Pine Street. But if we make a right here, you'll notice we got bridges. We got bridges. That's something I definitely wanted added was bridges. Uh, not a lot of games have them. This is a kind of unique bridge. Look at it. Go up and then you go down. And then look at the water. Got a little canal here with some uh, some piers. Just pretty cool. And then you'll notice another, the same exact bridge down the water there we'll go to. That kind of just wraps around over there. More fields. So you have a lot of houses. If I'm correct, there's over 500 houses um, to kind of make stops at. So there's no shortage of houses. I still got to add some here, as you can see. Um, another voice crack, my goodness. Uh, and then you have the same kind of bridge there. Um, so we'll take this way. Like I said, this area is not yet done. Still got to build the uh, elementary school and put it down. But uh, the road layout is pretty much done. But uh, as you can see, we are level six. And I'll show you that your rank changes uh, when you get to a certain level. We'll showcase that here in a second. But uh, that's where the elementary school is going to go. Somewhere right there. Maybe not in that exact location, but somewhere there. Uh, and then you got some small neighborhoods here with a little bit of a grid layout. Uh, I did implement the grid layout in some areas simply because it was faster and easy to do. But I made sure not to overuse it. If you don't know what a grid layout is, uh, I know my uh, City Skyline players out there know what a grid line is, but uh, our grid layout, sorry. Um, I used another one here. Uh, it's basically where you make your roads essentially like a grid. It, it's a lot of copy and pasting, but uh, it, it it's faster, you know. But uh, we have another field here. A screenshot. Uh, we'll make a right here. And then here we have a area called Stonehenge. It's still Stonehenge. So that whole neighborhood there is Stonehenge. Okay. So here we are. We're on Love Street right now. Go this way. And then this is Stonehenge Drive. Let's see if that displays. Uh, no. Yeah, see, it's a little broken, but it, it's... Oh, Victor Street. Victor Street. Wait, what? Are we on Victor? No, Victor Street is... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a little broken. I've said that more than once now. <laughs> but yeah. Not bad. And then there's the high school as well. And then there's Wheat View, I believe. <laughs> I don't even know my own streets. But yeah, there's uh, obviously we didn't showcase the whole entire map, but uh, you guys get the gist. There's a lot of houses, a lot of streets. Uh, you know, we didn't even go over there. There's a huge pond right there. 
And then obviously we have the communications office there again. With a nice star line logo there. We are now level seven. Got another pond here. And then we'll go down to this side, another pond, more fields, and more streets, more little hills and stuff, which is pretty cool. This is Queen Street. So some of you guys will notice your suggested streets in the game. And then this kind of circles back around to the middle school up here. Mm, this is Crawford Court, actually. Wait, is this Crawford Court? Yeah. Uh, we'll show you guys Crawford Court here as well. Uh, there's the middle school. Not bad. Not a bad build at all. Okay, I think we're on Crawford. Yeah, we are. It's not displaying it, though. There it goes. Oh, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little broken. That's I said that like 10 times now. <laughs> and then we're back here to the bridges as well. So it's not the biggest map you've ever seen. I realize that, but, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't think it's bad. You guys let me know, though. It's 12 p.m. Look at that. All right. So here's Crawford Court. Nice little roundabout area. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that street display. It's... I think the majority of streets are unknown. And then we got some more windy roads here as well. Like I said, I made sure to implement some of these. But yeah, a lot of houses, a lot of houses. Still going to add some stop signs in this area. And then you'll notice these. These will probably be filled in with buildings eventually. But yeah, let's try to get back to the communications office here. Got another pond there. Lots of ponds, I know. <laughs> This is Indigo Street. And the, uh, the parking is very basic as well, I know. <laughs> uh, there's also the fuel system is actually working. However, I've yet to add fuel pumps. Uh, so that's going to need to be done uh, on release as well. So. Okay. Got to get back here to turn this thing off. All right. There we go. Well then, that was my uh, official gameplay review of the game that I am releasing very soon. Uh, like I said, still being worked on. We are very close to release though. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the whole uh, rank thing as well. So if I do uh, change um, Shay Arson, uh, is it level? Ugh. Level 23. 
Mm, I don't think. Yeah, that was it. So, um, it changed my level to twenty three. But this, um, um, the leaderboard actually doesn't refresh until you know another five minutes. So, uh, uh I'll I'll showcase that when it um, uh, when it when it updates. All right, and as you guys can see. If you look at the top right hand side of the screen level 24 rank novice driver yeah so i think from like 1 to 20 is um or sorry 1 to 19 is beginner driver 20 to 39 is novice driver 40 to 69 is uh advanced driver and then so on and so forth it's like master and you know all that will be, you know, displayed here uh, very shortly. Uh, like I said, there's going to be like a little board in here that displays that. So, um, yeah, if you guys like the game, let me know down below. Is this a game that you're going to be playing once it releases? I'm hoping people will play it. Like I said, I, I did kind of work on it quite a bit. Um, and, you know, I, I plan on giving it regular updates, uh, you know, bus updates, customization updates, uh, season updates. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what this map is going to look like in the winter and the fall. It's going to be cool. Um, so, yeah, let me let me know. Uh, I want to do map expansions and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I hope you guys will play it. So, uh, yeah, uh, this game will be coming out shortly. Like I said, join the group and the Discord server down below to uh, to be sure to check it out when it releases. So, um guys like the video please leave a like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time peace